obviously that was a great period for the club getting to Europe for the first time and then drawing, you know, Bayern, we knocked Atletico out over two legs when Aguero was there and things and going to Marseille. I mean, for, for the Bolton fans, what what a great time for them. I think they'll always look back on that as a, a glory years, won't they? JJ Okocha, Fernando Hierro, Yuri Djokaev, Ivan Campo. Despite those players, Sam got pigeonholed as a long ball team. How did you react to that? I think it always came out when we would beat Liverpool or we'd beat Arsenal. Um, and the managers would use it as an excuse because he just got beat up, really. We knew if we got Arsenal on Tuesday night in February, we'd have a chance because it was cold. We had a lot of foreign players. He lost that Vieira, you know, petite toughness to it. didn't have it anymore. So we, you know, we know we could do ways to try and win the game. We had to find a way because they were better than us, like I said before. So it wasn't kind of kicking people. It was just a bit more in the faces, you know, getting early tackling and just let them know we're here. And they found it difficult to cope with at the time. But again, it wasn't all down to that. It was a style of play, you know, Sam's tactics, the way we played. You know, we had some great players and we played some good stuff. Nothing pleased him more than getting one over Wenger or Benitez. He's got this great way of like being hard and tough, but also knows when to put the arm around you. And I think that's why, that's why he, was, he got so much out of the likes of me, Kevin Nolan, you know, look at Mickey Hunt, people that he's he got the best out of. And, he creates something really special there because players that have won everything, you know, Campo, Hierro, Stelios comes back with his Euros medal. You know, we loved it. You know, he's just got this great way of creating a family environment. That team and what you managed to achieve, so much flair and skill and then actually making it into Europe. Uh, you scored an equaliser and a 2-2 draw against Bayern Munich at the Allianz. These are, are, are games and moments that I'm sure sort of occasionally your mind drifts and you think back to that. Obviously, that was a great period for the club getting to Europe for the first time and then drawing, you know, Bayern. We knocked Atletico out over two legs when Aguero was there and things and going to Marseille. I mean, for, for the Bolton fans, what what a great time for them. I think they'll always look back on that as a the glory years, won't they? And they're making a bit of a comeback now and doing well. But what, what they achieved or we achieved as a group. And like I said, there's still that... Togetherness, it feels like family, you know, Gethin Jones was, um, his mum sadly passed away, you know, we, we, I, I sort of helped him organise a game last year and, you know, 12, 13,000 fans turned up and I picked up the phone to all the players to put a team together and literally everyone turned up because of what Sam created, what memories we created at the club. And these are players that have, you know, won Champions Leagues and mm. won the Euros and things, but they still see you know, Campo was at the game, um, the Papa John's um, a few weeks back because... It's just something, sometimes you just create something really special. Um, and obviously when Sam left, things start to sort of taper off, obviously, resulting in, in relegation eventually. But um, I think he probably regret leaving when he did because he, again, created something special and probably never really got that again going with the clubs that he went to. But um, yeah, it was just sometimes we just have that special bond, I think, as a group. And even families and kids now, you know, I'm still meeting up with a lot of players playing golf and we have a chat group and, we just had a great, great togetherness, really. And, you know, that's something very rare, I think, sometimes. Out of all those players, who was your favourite to play with? Probably Kevin Nolan, I think, really, in terms of uh, an understanding. Um, because, like I said, I've gone from being a central midfielder to being more of a, a bit of a wide player than going to Bolton. And then suddenly this target man thing sort of came around and I adjusted my game. It just worked. I think it kind of stumbled upon that a little bit. And me and Kev just seemed to have this understanding he had an understanding he was a great I mean he's done it most of his career just a great knack of knowing where to gamble and where to feed off and we just had a really good sort of understanding together so it was kind of a a good British partnership that one it was solid and you know we had some fun off the field as well and he's a great for, for someone so young he's a great young captain and he had a great career himself didn't he that England cap is is really really special I remember the two of us being delighted at the time that you'd got this England cap, you'd certainly been working hard enough for it. Yeah, I was 33, wasn't I? So mm. during that one week, I felt like I was one of the best players in the country, and which is something that I'd always dreamed of and wanted to be, really. Did John Terry or Rio mention an accidental hellball from you? <laughs> <laughs> they were pleased to have me on their own side for a few days, weren't they? <laughs> <laughs> me and John Terry, I think we had a mutual respect. We both relished it because he's a similar type to me, wasn't he? And I remember him getting stretched off once against me. But after the game, 
he came over and gave me some boots and a shirt because I was running a charity at the time. And I've had a few with other centre halves and they refused to speak to you because you've caught them late or something. I think, you know what? It is what it is. We're all built differently. When I took some big hits myself, you know, I had a plenty of broken bones through challenges, but I never moan. You get on with it and that's part of the game. 